I do want to hone in on what makes betrayal trauma unique, though, because th there is there is a uniqueness to betrayal trauma. I shouldn't say unique. Unique. I don't mean it literally. There could be other types of trauma that have the same effect. Um, complicated grief, for example, has has this same kind of effect. Betrayal is a form of grief, though. Um, but anyway, so I want you to think about what we've learned so far about trauma. So you've got this disintegration of parts of the brain. You've got these triggers where the right brain, specifically the right brain limbic system wakes up and it's got you know, all this stuff going on. The amygdala, which is that little um, almond size, almond shaped part of the brain deep down in there in the limbic system right in there. Um, the, the amygdala, sort of like the fire alarm, it's the threat alarm. It, it sends us in a fight or flight, it gets us ready to go. The amygdala is hypervigilant, hyperactivated because of the trauma. In fact, it, there's like we've done the brain studies. The amygdala is physically affected by trauma. So that's where that hypervigilance comes from. And, and so that's true across different types of trauma. But there's another part of the limbic system, that part deep down in there that's just automatic reacting, okay? They're called the hippocampus, specifically the left hippocampus. And the left hippocampus is, here's my analogy, it's like a filing cabinet in the brain. And it takes all the memories of everything that's happened and it, it organizes them, puts them in a certain order and, and, and gets them all filed away. And, and then once they're all together, then it's like, okay, now I know my story. Or another example, it's like it takes all these little individual frames of experience, each frame being a memory, and it puts all the frames in an order so it becomes a film strip. Okay, and so now I, I've got my story. And why is story important? I said this earlier. If I know what's happened in the past so that I can predict the future, that means I can keep myself safe. The other really important thing about the left hippocampus and that file cabinet or that film strip is that it gives us a sense of identity. Who am I? Well, I'm the sum of my experiences. If I, I, I have a sense of identity because of all of these individual things that's happened and the way I've put them together and organized them and made sense of them, okay? That's the hippocampus. Betrayal trauma affects not just the amygdala, the fire alarm, it affects the hippocampus as well. So in other words, here, here's what's happening. When betrayal happens, not only is my amygdala going, am I safe, am I safe, am I safe? My hippocampus now, what's happened is all these new facts have come in that have taken those files, dumped them all out on the floor, the storyline that I had put them together with, the way I had assembled, the meaning I had assigned to them doesn't fit anymore with all these new experiences. So now what, two things. Number one, I don't have a strong, I, I, I've lost my sense of who I am. That'll make you panic. Number two, I can't predict the future. I don't know what's coming because if I don't know what's happened, how can I know what's coming? This is a primal, non-conscious, automatic thing going on in the brain. And so it's just reviewing. Wait, but what? Wait, but what? Wait, it happened. How many? Wait, you were aware? No, that couldn't have happened because of this, this, and this. But, but I know what happened because I just saw the phone records. But, and it's this review. And I ask that question again, and I ask again. So there's this review happening because the, the, the two things, remember, the amygdala is saying, I'm in danger, and the hippocampus is going, I got I to gotta do something with all these files. I got I to gotta, I gotta put all this in an order. I got to make sense of this to keep myself safe. Okay. 
that review that's that is in many ways not necessarily unique to but it can be unique to it's it's more commonly associated with that's how i should say it betrayal trauma it is it is a neurobiological necessity of the brain so i say to any of you um addicts in recovery there whose betrayed partner is still struggling with his or her hippocampal review they can't help it they, they they can't help it any more than you can help any reaction and i mean that in the literal sense not a response that's thought out and intentional reaction when they ask that question for the 12th time it is because their brain is telling them it is a matter of survival to make sense of this.